It's all caps, yeah. Your hair, your... So the night ministry offers us a really tangible, hands-on way to give people an experience of working um, on the hunger problem from a variety of um, places, right? I like the It was just there, so it's my heart. It's beat all I feel privileged to be able to participate in this. Sometimes it's easy for me to sit back at home and say, what can I do? Here it is. You've got more bread so down I'm there. I'm going to make a commitment to do this. That's the bread. And so some of our folks are out there, and it's great that they can come to worship on Sunday and stay after worship and make sandwiches and bag cookies and cut vegetables. I really do think it's a nice experience. It's something that you feel good about doing for others, you know? Uh, helping out, uh, make, bagging up cookies for the homeless. Okay. And my advice to everybody out there is it feels good, so just do it. And you know what the funny thing is, a lot of days... I get up in the morning and I say, this is night ministry prep day, and I say, well, I, I feel kind of tired today. I don't know if I want to do this. Like we tend to do, we kind of make excuses. But you know what? I come here every time, and after I do it, I feel splendid. I just feel so good after I do it. So, and I, I'm speaking for myself, but I think a lot of other people are kind of catching that same fever here. So, so what's happening today? Well, today we're getting ready to uh, put a night ministry meal together. We've spoken to the crowd making sandwiches and bagging cookies. And in the kitchen here, we're going to be chopping vegetables. Get ready for the big production tomorrow. So we've got um, lots because we're making minestrone this month. And we have lots of vegetables because it's almost all vegetables. Um, with the help of a food processor, and, and Max will be back in a few minutes to help food chop process. the <laughs> trusty <laughs> robot Coup coupe. Yeah, right. We're able to, to chop up all these vegetables and keep them in bins in the cooler overnight, and then they're ready to just throw in as we make the soup. So that makes it a little more efficient. Great. We used to do it all by hand, and we actually had cutting boards and knives and a, a dozen people chopping vegetables. When we first started doing this, it, it was a... Uh, we had to figure out how to have everybody in the congregation involved. So we had a crew in the kitchen when we had a big kitchen chopping. We had a crew making sandwiches. We had a crew, you know, doing much like we do now. Only there's not enough room in here for a dozen people. So there's uh, the few of us generally do the, the vegetable chopping, and um, that's that. Thank you. And with the yeah, we chop all the prep all the vegetables today, and then tomorrow Emily throws everything into the big pot. And cooks the soup, and also for the minister, let the soak the beans overnight. I come in tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock, and start making the soup. We have a couple of giant soup pots, so we cover the stove with soup pot. Spend the afternoon cooking the soup, and then uh, load it up in the tubs just before we head on down to the night ministry. It stays good and hot. We have hot soup, well, plenty for everyone out at Uptown. So uh, here we're uh, just arrived at Uptown waiting for the bus to pull up. We've got a lot of people in line waiting. Um, taking the food on deliveries with the bus is um, a monumental experience on a monthly basis. So um, for them to travel from this neighborhood on the northwest side um, into the city um, where there is a marked difference in neighborhoods and to um, pick up the bus and go to uptown and stand on the street and make relationships. We've got people now who've been doing this for years and so they've made friends and acquaintances with Clients. We have two tubs of minestrone soup this evening. We have two cases of bananas. We have uh, some bread and butter for those who are either allergic to peanut butter uh, and jelly or don't want that with their soup. And we've got uh, cookies for about 300. So we're good to go. Oh, it's not the time. Yeah. Oh, it's not the time. 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 Oh, it
is a big pot full. <laughs> I know, but it's a real exercise. I think that for us, it offers us the opportunity to um, be who we say we are, to live out the vision of what we think the church should be in the world, and we don't have to invent it for ourselves because we're a small congregation and we couldn't put together a ministry like the Night Ministry under our own steam, but we can partner with the Night Ministry and collaboratively um, do a small piece of the kingdom work. Butter. 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 Butter.